Hey YouTube, this is TCA Gaming for my personal collection video number seven. Uh, in this one, I'm going to show you my some of the PSA stuff I have that is going into the sale lot. What you're looking at here is a complete first edition original US English edition Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon set. And they're all graded PSA. I would like to say everyone is 10, but there's one that is a 9, which is Flame Swordsman. But everything else, all the big cards, they're all Gem at 10. Um, if you start out right hand again, I mean, there's Trihorn Dragon, it's in order. I mean, there's Blue Eyes White Dragon, Gem at 10. I mean, you can see it right there, first edition LB. It's not Asian, it's not European, it's original US English edition. We've got the Exodia laid out for you here. There's a guy. The only one that's not PSA 10 is the Flame Sword. It's unfortunate that you know one card shy, but I've, I'm actively looking for it. I missed out on one. I mean, it wasn't but like a hundred dollar card back in I think it was May or March. Also, I have a this is a first edition base set, um, PSA graded set. I think there's some missing cards. I just kind of put it together a few months back, and I haven't really. Um, checked on everything but I'm going to go through some of the cards like Alakazam these are all the ones from that box I opened for the most part anyways so a lot of the commons and uncommons we've got the 10 but only the Zapdos come back as a 10 so we got Alakazam a 9 Blastoise a 9 Chansey a 9 I'm confident the, the only reason these didn't get 10s is because of the center it's unfortunate Charizard a 9 my champ at eight, which I probably have a nine or a ten stuck back somewhere. Magneton a seven. That was just one that I put in there. Near King a nine. Nine tails an eight. Polyrath a nine. Black shoes a nine. Venusaur's a nine. Zapdos is a ten. Which I would say seventy percent of everything after this is probably a ten. But Beedrill a nine. You got Dragonair 9, Electabuzz 10, Electro 10, Pidgeotto 10, Arcanine 10, Charmeleon 10, Dugong 9, there's a 9, 9, 9, 10. I'm just going to go through these so you get an idea of the grade. You can slow it down if you really need to. Or go back and slow it down if you need to. I wish I could hold this. 10, 10, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 10, 10, 10. Maybe not 70%. 10, 10, 9, 10, 9, 9, 9, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Get closer to that 70% now, huh? 10, 9, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Just to know that we're on number 58 here. That's the Pikachu, yellow cheeks, that's a 9. 10, 10. 10, 10, 10, 10, 9, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, and 9. Next row, I'm going to take a few of these out so I can just get a little bit more room. Right. 9, 10, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 10, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 10. Trainers did that do well. And I believe I have some that you know can replace a few of these, but overall it's not too bad. I'd probably say at least half is nine. Probably looking at an overall raw grade since there's a few missing between a nine three and a nine five, you know, if you're on PSA. But we've also I've also got a small PC first edition Charizard collection in here. These are all first edition Charizards too. I just kind of kept the grades that I had differently. Four, five, six, and then there's a seven. Let's see what else we have in here. This is a complete collector's edition PSA graded peanut. Yeah, Power 9, which there's Mox Pearl, which is a 9, Mox Sapphire 8, Ancestral Recall 8, Mox Emerald 8, Time Twister 8, Mox Ruby 9, Time Walk 9, Mox Jet a 7, and the Black Lotus a 9. 
I think the biggest issue on these was the centering. So if you like, look at this. Lotus, I mean, I remember seeing these in there and they were, they looked like they were just pulled straight out of the collector's edition box. Let's set those aside. Next up, we have a complete sample set. And these are uh, all Gem Mint 10, all 10 of them. They're all individually sleeved already. There's that Alexander. We've already shown that. Let's include it in the 1999 2000 set. This is a pre release called Fable Mint 9, but this is graded by map. Looks like just some random other energies. Well, we have Blastoise and Venusaur, PSA 10. We've got some energies. A couple of nines, a couple of tens. Not much value there. And then last for this video, we have some pretty high end stuff. I mean, you got the demo pack, which isn't too high end. But these are the, the legendary FPO collection packs. You have all four artworks in here. And those are the five card packs. I mean, they were, I would say they're worth at least $1,500 a piece. And then this is the only remaining 10 card pack, FPO pack, I uh, know in existence. And it's pretty expensive as well. But anyways, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, like I said, all this is included in the, the sale of my personal collection. If it does sell, if it doesn't, it's just going you know, back to set and accrue you know, value as, as it has. Um, over the past decade. I appreciate you watching.